All right, got a question from Ryan. Ryan and I worked together building things many years ago in San Francisco. Awesome guy to work with, fantastic designer, UX designer. He says, um, question about single field forms. What about structured data, name, email, whatever, all going into separate DB fields? Great question. Um, let's do an example. So let me, so this is Builder News. This is a site powered by uh, Scroll. And watch this crazy thing I'm about to do here. I can go to get the, uh, the Git repo here. And I'm gonna put it in here. I'm gonna create a new site. I'm gonna create a new, a uh, Builder, I'm just gonna, create a copy of that um, we just cloned the entire site straight from the git this is a working clone of builder news and we just did that in like seconds how fucking fun is this okay so how it works is when someone adds a um, so uh, so builder news just a quick overview it uses this form this, this idea it's just a place where people, builders helping builders, watch builders try your creation. So you can see user videos of um, people testing things. So you can see their face, you can see their, because if you're a web developer, web designer, you build these things and then maybe you get a, a Hacker News comment or a Reddit comment. You don't get to see someone, see their reaction, see them, listen to them how you use your product. So we built something new. We think so much of the negativity on the internet is because of that. It's because it's just text and it's easy to write some text, but if, you, if you're putting your real face on there, you're gonna be more human. And um, so that's why we created Builder News. And so to, to submit a try, we call them tries, right? So each one of these is a try. Um, someone just has to go into tries.scroll, all right? So this is a one, this is, they're actually editing, they're editing the database. We, we store the data in files. Everything's backed by Git, don't worry. You're, you're not gonna, you can't break it, you can't lose data. It's all backed by Git. Um, but, um, so I just did this user test of humankind candles. And now, again, it's still a little early. What we really should have here is, is auto-complete. Um, we should do auto-timestamp, we should do auto-increment. Um, but, but th that's kind of the, the, um, idea. Let me show you, um, sorry. So, so everything is structured data. So let me, let me show you the schema for this file. If I look at tries.parsers, um, and so this is a little, we don't have the great syntax highlighting in here yet because it's still a little early, but I I'll, I'll show you what it's going to look like once we've get the more advanced stuff ported over. Um, I can go to parsers and left. So here, here's, here's how it's going to look in the future when you're writing, um, where did I go here? Um, th this is your schema file. So like this would be like, these are all kind of mapped to a column, right? So this is a URL column. This is a try column, rank column. Um, builder name column. So yeah, these all map one to one to a column. And in fact, you can actually dump your whole database in this format to SQL, um, to CSV. Like this is a great format. Even if in the future you're going to need other use cases, um, it's great. So look, so here we have a rank, right? So we compute the rank of all the different stories and we encode that. So we do write that in JavaScript, but you're allowed to just write the word JavaScript and put your JavaScript in here. And we have our little like page rank algorithm to, to compute the rank of the home page. The whole, whole thing is <laughs> contained. You might think, oh, this is, looks complicated, but it, this is just JavaScript and we're talking 16 lines of JavaScript to compute the home page rankings for, for Builder News. Um, and then, you know, and then like this code is just, is very simple. We've got strings and we've got IDs and we have URLs. So these are kind of like our types. Instead of types, we have these things, notions of parsers. Um, and you can have the sort index. So when we format the file, it sorts everything in the correct order. Um, we say this is computed. Um, so yeah, it's a little, I mean, there's a learning curve for sure, but it's so simple. Like, and it's only gonna get better. 
the, the nice thing is that your data just remains pure. Look how pure and clean this data is. And of course, we're, we don't have the perfect syntax highlighting in here yet, but I mean, this is the database, right? Like I can go ahead and, and um, add, add a try, like I'm trying right now, I'm trying, I'm trying scroll up, right? And then I don't, I'll, I need to post this video before I get the link to the try, but um, do, 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 do. and I click on publish and it's gonna build the site and it takes what, two seconds and then the site's live. So here we go. And then if I click on this, I get the Breck Try Scroll Hub. So um, this is just kind of the power, like this is all structured data, right? This is all generating a uh, structured JSON file with, with you know proper typing and all that. Um, it's just the future. It's just so, it's good, I love it. Um, it's taken a long time. It took so many people, the help of so many people to get it to where it is today. Um, and of course, there's so much left to do, you know, designs and stuff. But um, but when I say this is going to take over, like this is the fucking future. This is going to be so big. It's going to take over the web. Everyone's going to be using this. It's so much better. You can do so many crazy things with it that just you couldn't even dream of doing before. Like we just launched this... This whole fucking site, like from we cloned it from GitHub and we launched it and we at, modified the database and you know there's no, and it took seconds. I mean, um, it's it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. But yeah, it's it's for early adopters. And sorry that was pretty long-winded, Ryan. I don't know if that answered your question. Um, yeah, but yeah. So it is structured data. Everything's structured data. So to use scroll forms. You have to, you have to write these parsers. So it is that is the more advanced version. But if you if you're familiar with with um, SQL, um, you can do pretty much everything. Um, you can do nested measures, etc. I mean this this whole thing powers PLDB. Um, so like if I look at Ruby, click on the edit. I mean so this is a form. So this is how we edit. Now now can show you what it looks like we also have a way where you can do a single field at a time right and look how many we have over 400 fields in PLDB right so obviously we, we, we eat our own dog food we push the limits and so so you know you can see how you know we get autocomplete in here we you know we get so we have a lot more advanced features in this one and we're gonna bring all this stuff to the to the other thing and we're going to continue to improve the design etc um but um oh so let me just show you the schema for this um this is all open source too uh, if you go into code and you look at um measures.parsers so here's the obviously we have over 400 columns defined and we have you know nested columns and stuff so this, this really pushes, and like, we have columns of every type, so we've really pushed the boundaries. So you can be sure that this will work for you. It's, I can't say that it's gonna be 100% straightforward in the beginning because it's still new technology and you know, there's problems, but I mean, look at the stuff you get when you do it, do it this way. Like you get all this beautiful documentation for all your form submissions, right? We get, we, we see, so we see in PLDB, we, here, here's each one of these as a column. We can see how many values we have. We can see what the coverage is. We can see examples. We can see the types. We can download the whole thing as JSON, CSV, TSV. We can download all this information about the measures. So here's, here's the database as a JSON file. Um, yeah, get excited. This is just going to take the world by storm. It's finally ready. It's finally kicking ass. Get excited, um, and it is a fucking. I'm sure it's going to be a pain in the ass to learn, and there's lots of bugs and whatever. But you know, in the, in the 90s, that was the way the web was, and the, you know, so it's uh, to the the early bird gets worms. <laughs> who who doesn't love worms? All right, sorry, I was real long. Hope everyone's having a great morning. Cheers. <laughs>